so that all works. Um, our next task in design mode will restrict the ship's movement, yeah, which means it won't slip off the edge of the uh, edge of the screen. So let's move on to part nine. Keeping the ship on screen, part nine. Let's move on to restricting the ship's movement uh, bounds so it can't disappear off the screen's edge. First, we'll, cr we'll create a new update event. Oh, that's my phone. And then we'll set up two checks to see if, uh, using an, an if and otherwise block. The first checks whether the ship's position on screen is beyond the leftmost edge of the screen and uh, an X position of zero. And the second checks whether the past, it's past the rightmost edge, a value equal to the screen's width of the screen. So it, but it takes into account the ship's width. So stencil measures an actor's X position from the leftmost edge of its graphic. Well, that's interesting to know. Which is why we need to subtract whatever the ship's width is. Okay, so here's our here's a screenshot. If the event didn't account for the ship's width, by the time Stencil's engine detected the ship's position being an X position equal to the ship's width, the ship would be awarded me both off screen. Okay, well we've got that, haven't we? So let's build this all up together. So let's just make sure it, uh, we, we we know what we're doing. First create a new update event. So we add an event. We go basic and we say when updating. Yeah. So we've got two different, so we have more than one updated event. Right, okay, so always. Um, oh, there's our palette there. So we go always if and we want to use this thing down here, which is a less than. So I'll chuck that in. So if whatever is less than whatever, and we're going to put the zero in there. And we need to go to actor. And this is the position. That, and we need on speed, not speed. That's speed, force, turning, physics, position. There's position. Okay, there we go. So we just shut that into there. Oops. Get in. Uh, what? <laughs> Tricky. Oh, gosh. Come here. There we go. Just chuck you in there. So we say on speed. So if the X position on screen of self, which is the thing, the ship, is less than zero, okay, then it, do, then it does it. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so, so, so you're not actually doing this ship like faster than you are. <laughs> Maybe. And then we'll do otherwise if. Hang on a sec. Let's just let's put, put this in. Yeah. So then otherwise if. Oh my goodness. So this is like over here it says it's got this green uh, sort of lozenge which is more than. Okay. So it's over here. So this is this one. So we chuck that in there. And this one we need two things. We need the on-screen one again, which is back here. So it's it's this one. So we need to find out where it is. So if the on-screen exposition of self is more than, we need to add some maths here. I wonder if it's over here. Okay, here we go. So this is some arithmetic we can do. So we'll just chuck that down here. So the screen width, I wonder what that is. C pink isn't it game sing actors world view Ah, there it is. So, so, and there's screen width. So we're just gonna put that. So if the screen width minus the width of the self, so that's the actor properties. There it is. Width of the self. Um, 
So over here we say, so if the x position of the ship is less than zero, set, let's go back to actor and do position. Set x to one. Okay. So it can't go past one. Um, otherwise, set, here we go, so we'll just chuck this one in again, but we're going to put a load of stuff in here, um, so we're going to do a bit of arithmetic, we're going to do a lot of arithmetic, so we'll go to numbers and text, and we're going to go, I'm going to bring this in, I'm going to put that into there, so it's going to be, so screen width minus the width of self. So let's just duplicate this. I'm going to chuck you in there. Minus one. I think. Oh, yeah, me, me. Chuck it all in there. Okay, uh, so if the x position on the screen of, of the ship is less than zero, set the x position to one for self for the ship. Otherwise, if the x position on screen of self is more than the screen width minus the width of the self, so minus its its actual width, then set its x position to The screen width minus the position of self, so whatever that, that is, minus one for self. Let's see what that actually looks like. So we're gonna we're gonna test add to scene. So we're going back to scene dashboard scene. Click that. Save it. Test scene. So let's press our left button. Okay, we've stopped. Let's press our right button. And we stopped. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, it works. Fantastic. Well, I think that's our next one. So we're going to go to part 10. Bing. Enabling our ships to fire bullets. <laughs> So our next event, we will create a bullet actor and we'll set it in motion when the player presses a keyboard key. Click the add event. Okay, so we're going back to our ship and we're going to add event. And this time it's going to be input. So when we press a key, okay, uh, what key are we going to do now? Um, so make sure your bullets fire properly. Make sure you remember to set their actor type in the physics tab to normal. We've covered this in part four. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's just go to our, our bullet and make sure our physics is normal. They are normal. That's good. Back to ship. So we're going to choose a control. And it's going to be action one, apparently. Okay. So when action one is pressed, do what this. Now we need to grab two blocks, one that creates our bullet actor and another one that sends it on its way. So we're going to create an actor type. And that's going to be behavior, game, behavior, scene, actors. Aha, here we go. So we're going to create an actor type, so we'll just chuck that in here. And we're going to do another one, which is, it says push. Now, what does it say here? Is it under actor, motion, actor, motion, push. Right, so we need to push self gently towards direction, which is this one. Okay. Right, so we're going to create, so we're going to chuck these two into here. 
So we're going to create an actor. It's going to be bullet. Okay. Yeah, I think you might play as well. It's a good idea. The first is okay. So we need to test it out. Next, we need to set where the bullet is created and the direction it should travel in for the x and y values. Set them to x of self and y of self. Okay, x. Of self. <laughs> I quite like that. And y. Actor. Of self. Let me just change that to y. Okay. For the x values of myself, uh, which is the current position of the ship on screen. Click on each drop down. Yes, done that. Done that. From here, we will set the direction of force the bullet actor will launch at in the push. Um, set the x direction to zero. Yeah. So x is left and right, and y is up and down. Okay, to zero, which is. We only want the ship to shoot bullets towards the enemy ships, which is up, not horizontally. And Y to direction minus one. Okay. Minus one, which is up. Let me see. Remember that up on a computer screen is in the negative Y direction. Lastly, set the force to 40. Okay. Test the game again by pressing the Z key to f um, press the Z key to fire. Okay, cool. So we'll save it. We'll go to dashboard and scenes and test the scene okay so we can go left and right Z is fire <laughs> oh, well that's gone horribly wrong <laughs> so what went wrong then did we put it in the wrong place ah this is the thing. So in push, we aren't pushing the self, we're pushing the last created actor. Mm. Okay, let's yeah. let's test it again. I wonder if we can test game like that. There we go. Okay, so we can go left and right. Z. That is very slow. Weirdly slow. Maybe that could maybe um maybe um forty gently sharply. There we go. We're gonna do. We got it. We haven't haven't read it properly. Last okay. We've done it sharply. There we go. A test game again. Right. Okay. So we're going left and right. Z. Oh, that's better. Do 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 do. Wow, it's actually sticking to those um. <laughs> Sticking to the guys, not, 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 not travelling past them, which is interesting. It's cool. 